In this video, I'm going to show a super uh, simple way to use the color sensor. The color sensor I'm using is a modern robotics color sensor. And if you go to their website, you can see that they have a lot of information about how to use the color sensor. Specifically, I saw that the color sensor for modern robotics will return a specific number corresponding to a specific color. So all I have in my code so far is a uh, hardware test bot and I've declared my motors and mapped those motors down in the initialize function. I also have an autonomous mode. So all I'm going to do is add my color sensor to this hardware file. And so I need to import the code needed for this modern robotics color sensor. So that imports the code needed for the color sensor. Now I want to go down into my hardware testbot class and then add a color sensor type. I'm going to make it public so that I can use it in other files. And the name of the mine is going to be called Front Color Sensor. And then I'm going to set it to null, which means nothing, because I'm going to initialize it down in the initialize uh, function. So now down in the initialize function where I set up all my motors, I need to also set up my color sensor. So my front color sensor, that's the name of my sensor, needs to be equal to the hardware mapping that I get from the phone. So I'm going to map it to whatever name I'm going to give the sensor in the phone. And it's a modern robotics color sensor, so I give that class. And then I need to give the name of the color sensor here in the quotes. I'm going to call it sensor underscore color. And that's all you need to do to set up the color sensor in your hardware file. Now you can use it in any op mode that you need the color sensor for. So I, here I have an autonomous, a simple one where the robot drives forward. All right, so in this op mode, we initialize the hardware. We have a little bit of telemetry printing information to the phone. We have the wait for start. And then we have all this code here that the robot actually does. First thing we need to do with the color sensor is determine if we want to turn on the LED or not have it on. And that LED is for lighting up whatever the color sensor is supposed to be looking at. So we want to enable the LED. It's true if the object is a normal object. It's going to be false if you're trying to see the color from a lit object. So if you have a blue light, you would use the color sensor with the LED turned off. We have the LED turned on for normal objects. All right, now before we actually use the color sensor to control the robot, I want to write some code in a loop where we can test the color sensor over and over and see what kind of values it's returning. So I'm going to do a while loop. So that's the part that checks it over and over while the op mode is active. And I'm going to print to the screen the color number that I mentioned before. This color number is going to be so much easier than trying to work with the RGB, the red, green, blue values. So I get my front color sensor. I'm going to read from it an unsigned byte. And then I need to give it a register. A register is like an address. And we want to give it the color number address. Now I'm going to update the telemetry so that it's printing this information to the phone so that I can check it and see what numbers the color sensor is giving back into the program. Now I'm not going to worry about the rest of this code for right now. I'm just going to run it and then see what values are coming back from the color sensor. All right, so my color sensor's there, the LED's on, I got my driver's station and I'm going and it's this color number. Here is some red tape. And you can see it had a color number of 10, which matches the information from Modern Robotics. Here's some yellow tape, and I get a value of 8, which matches the information from Modern Robotics. Finally, here's some blue tape, and you can see that it gets a value of 3, 
And if I move it too far away, it turns to zero. So you're going to really need to make sure your color sensor is close enough to whatever it's sensing. All right, let's go back to my autonomous mode and let's change this code so that it actually uses the color sensor to control the robot. So I'm going to get rid of this wild. And instead of just driving forward for three seconds, let's say I drive forward until my color sensor sees something that's blue. All right, so now I need to get rid of this sleep for three seconds because I'm not going to use that. I'm going to sleep while the color sensor is not blue. Okay, I'm going to be in this while checking the color sensor over and over. And if it's not blue, I'm going to stay in the loop. As soon as it is blue, the while loop will end and I'll go to the end and turn the motors off. To make debugging easier, I'm going to put telemetry code inside the while loop. Specifically, I'm going to print the color number it's seeing so that I can check what kind of information the sensor is giving back if there happens to be any problems. And that's it. We turn our motors on to drive. We check with the while loop what the color sensor is feeding us back. And if it's blue, we stop and go to the next instructions where I say stop and the powers are set for zero on the motor.